Beth, and this is Bubby's Kitchen. And we call it Bubby's Kitchen because my grandbabies, Lukey, Aidy, Zachy, and Leo, come here to eat all of their favorite foods. Today, we're making chicken three ways. Chicken palm, chicken melanese. They both start with fried chicken cutlets. So let's go over those ingredients first. We have to make our breadcrumbs. So I have plain breadcrumbs, two cups, one cup of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. I have parsley, salt, pepper, secret ingredient in my breading, crushed fennel seeds. Of course, we have our chicken breasts and we're gonna make a nice egg bath. Two eggs and a splash of water. Breading, we've got two to one. One cup of cheese, two cups of plain breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of crushed fennel seeds, some salt, not too much because the uh, cheese itself is salty, so I'd say teaspoon and a half of salt, nice fresh Freshly grind pepper, that's about a teaspoon. Two tablespoons of parsley. You don't want to use fresh parsley, you definitely want to use dry parsley and breadcrumbs, otherwise your um, parsley will burn, fresh parsley will burn. I'm going to put a little bit more. Nice big piece of cheese. Save those for later. That's why I always mix the breadcrumbs with my hands so that I can feel any big pieces of cheese that I'm not sure I want. Egg wash, splash of water. Flip up our eggs. For the chicken, I want to make sure that it's all the same thickness. So it doesn't matter if I have small pieces. The kids like small pieces, so that's fine. But if there's any fat or anything that I don't want on the chicken, I just trim it up. So we have our breading station set up. Chicken, eggs, breadcrumbs, and on the plate. There are a lot of people that will flour it and uh, pat it dry. I don't get all of that. We never did that, it works perfectly for us. We just dip it in the egg, dip it in the breadcrumb, and put it on the plate ready for frying. Now, because I'm not a butcher, and all of my pieces are not perfect, as you can see, I take the small ones first, and then I bread the large ones. And I keep them separate on my plate so that I first will fry the small pieces all together, and then I'll fry the pieces that are similar in size as they get bigger and bigger. Here we go. One wet hand, one dry hand. Press down so that you're sure that your breadcrumbs are gonna stick to your cutlets. I'll keep all the small pieces on this side and the large pieces I'll put on the other side of the plate. So we're going to fry the cutlets, both for the Milanese and for the Parmesan, right? We 
need fried chicken cutlets. So I put about a quarter of an inch of oil in my favorite pan, my Florida pan. And the way that I know whether or not the oil is ready is I drop in some of the bread. If that happens, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to start with all the silly little pieces. These are the ones that I'll give to the kids. My heat is on medium high. I don't want to crowd the pan. I'm going to bread them on this side, bread them on the other side, get all these cutlets onto this plate. See you back in five. As you can see, we're almost done. But another trick I wanted to show you was I leave my cutlets stacked up on their side. I do that so that the oil drips off and they don't get bushy. Now, the fatter pieces, I'm not cooking all the way through because they will cook in the oven when I make the parmesan. The thinner pieces, in the front, I'm going to use for the milanese. So those are cooked all the way through. I wanted to show you just one more mama trick. Now, mama used to do this for mocha. Mocha was mama's dog, and mocha always wanted the chicken cutlets, and mama didn't want to give them to him. But she also didn't like to waste anything, so we'll make a breadcrumb patty. Believe it or not, we all love these, especially Zachy. Zachy loves them the most. And then his dad, Joel. Form a patty. Fry it up. The rest of the breadcrumbs I'm going to put in a separate container with the words chicken cutlets on it so that I can use those breadcrumbs again and I don't mix them up with anything else. And these are the ingredients for Bubby's chicken parm. I grated the mozzarella. I think that makes a difference. I like it better. I grated the Pecorino Romano cheese. Now you might say, well, this is chicken parm. Why are you using Pecorino Romano cheese? Because we like it better. It's a little more nutty. It's, it's lovely. And it browns really nicely on the top. If you like Parmesan, use Parmesan. Salt, pepper, of course, Bubby's chicken cutlets and Bubby's homemade tomato sauce. A little bit of spray for my pan. We're ready to go. I spent all this time browning my cutlets so that they're golden and crispy. So I definitely don't want to put them with sauce on the bottom and make them mushy. What I do is I spray my pan And then I put each of my cutlets down on the tray. I don't want them to touch. I want them to stay nice and crispy. I'm going to sauce each cutlet individually. I have to try not to get the basil on the cutlets or Luki won't eat them doesn't like anything green on his cutlets. Okay. A little salt and pepper.
It's a big step. Salt and pepper is a big step. It really affects the way everything tastes. You've got to do this all the way through. Salt and pepper all the way through. It always seems like the first one gets less, right? Pecorino Romano. If you like palm, use palm. I'm going to put this into the oven. Fifteen minutes at 350. We've got chicken parm. So the ingredients for chicken milanese are really easy. A lot of people pound the chicken up. What we do is we make some nice chicken cutlets, put them on the plate. Richie is the one that always does the seasoning for our salads. Some salt, some pepper, olive oil. How do you know how much, Rich? It's uh, pretty much eyeballing it. You've done it, you've done then, it for then, a long time. And then I taste it a couple of times until I, until I think it's just perfect. This bowl, where did we get this bowl? That bowl is, uh, is, a, is a sort of a family heirloom. Whose bowl is this? Uh, well, it belonged to my grandmother, actually. To your grandmother? Yeah. So this bowl is at least as old yeah. as you. Yeah. At least 75 it's years old. Older than me, if, that, if you can imagine that. <laughs> what do you think? I don't have way to tell. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. So, we'll take the salad, we'll put it right over the chicken. You can see peppers and onions, cucumbers. We have arugula and iceberg lettuce and tomatoes. This is a whole summer meal. You don't need anything else. You have your vegetables and your protein. So let's see. How does it taste, Mr. Benino? just for you, my darling Emma, my great, great niece. And I did that because I really, really appreciate all your hard work doing all this social media magic. <laughs> well, it's great because not only do I get to share your great cooking, but I also get to show off all of our family recipes. And as for what I do, I really just show the behind the scenes stuff. I run the Instagram and the Facebook, all at My Bubby's Kitchen. So if you would like to follow, you can follow at My Bubby's Kitchen on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and I show behind the scenes. Um, I show, you know, the recipes themselves. I sort of explain, you know, what happens in each episode so that if you want to go check it out, you can. And when you do go to check it out, it's very important that you like subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure that every time there's an upload, you'll be notified. Because every time that you upload, we upload premieres. And during a premiere, what happens is, if you can catch the, the premiere live, you can chat, and you can have conversations with your viewers. 
and it really just makes a really great environment to have you know this conversation and to be able to connect with people and you're going to teach me how to do that of course <laughs> today's feast a saucy day marinara sauce pesto mozzarella sticks we've got pesto with pasta and chicken three ways chicken cutlets chicken parmesan chicken milanese of course, with the Parmesan, we have a nice marinara sauce on spaghetti. What do you think we should do now, Rich? I think we should eat all this wonderful food. All right. So, all right. Let's do it. To a great meal. To family. To a great family. Absolutely. Salute. Salute. Salute.